Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make uh, fingerboard bushings. So what you're going to need is uh, those rubber bands like bracelets that you like can get from anywhere for free. You just need a piece and then another. I just have two pieces. I made them last night for a tech deck that I had. Uh, this is for a loose truck. See, look how loose they are. So what you're going to need is you're going to need this. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need one of these. And then you're just, you're going to obviously need a fingerboard and then the tool. So what you're going to do first is you're going to, going to cut, we'll cut the smaller one. So you're just going to cut like a piece off like that, like that big. It's not supposed to be big. So then just cut that in half. Sorry, my scissors aren't that good. All right, so when you cut it in half, you'll have something that looks like this. This is really big. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna trim the sides off and try to make it like as round as you can. Oops, I didn't cut. I'm just making it like edgy right now so that I could after cut it off. As you can probably tell, I didn't get it fully perfect like that. Like it's not perfect, but it's something. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna take one of the truck, one of the trucks off the base plates. If you have like a tech deck and you wanna like upgrade it, you could do this. There's a little hat that you could do. See, I already have this one and the top one. Make the bottom one a little, like, make the top one a little bit bigger. So now what you're going to do, you're going to grab this. And you're just going to, like, I don't, I've never used this personally. I always just, like, push it into the truck. But, so what you're going to do is you're just going to get this and then try to push it through all the way. I'm going to get, I'm going to put it on the tool just, like, like balance it on the tool. Oops, where'd it go? Oh boy, where did it go? Oh, it landed right on the fingerboard, on the tech deck. This is gonna be hard for me because I have like shaky hands. All right, and then you're gonna grab this. It's better if you have like a smaller one. Okay. Just try to like balance it on top. And then push it through right in the middle. And like twist a little bit. And then pull it over with your fingers so it looks like that. And then I, I'm just gonna like put it around the whole thing just to make sure that the hole is gonna stay there and it's not gonna like you know how rubber, like, it disappears like that. So you can see there's, like, a little hole right in there. You can see that little black spot. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to line it up with it. And then when you get it lined up, just push it on like that. And then push it down. And then I'm just going to quickly make a top one to show you the size difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the other side from what I cut in half. So we can save a little bit and we don't have to use the whole thing. So you can make more, maybe for your friends. Oh, that, that I made that a little too small. So then I'm just going to cut this one just like so. And then, 
like this. And then when you're done cutting, it should be like that small. And then just repeat the same thing. Just push it on. Oh, that would work easily. And then, see, it's like right off the edge. And then this is the other part. You're just going to want to put it back on, like, the actual truck part back on the base plate. It might be a little weird. Alright, so, now that, hold on, let me adjust the camera. Alright, so now that it's on, you're just going to find the hole again. Push it through. And then see it's like held on there and you can just see the metal from like Hold on, let me adjust it. Alright, so see you can see the metal right there. Let's turn the brightness down. All right. Well, you understand. And then you're just going to want to get your tool and put the bolt in it. Turn it sideways and, like, try to line it up. First shot. Line it up perfectly. And then, see like how there's like a little hanging off right there? You can just trim that up, which is what I'm going to do. And then just wipe it away. And then look how loose it is. I love my trucks loose. Kick flip, first go. Uh, almost a tray flip. Alright. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm actually going to soon make a video on how to make a fingerboard. Because ma I made this one. It looks pretty sick. And then I put a bunch of stickers on it. And I'm probably I'm going to try to get like a few clips on my box that I have right there. That This was like just... Um, it was like a mini chess thing where there was ch like chess checkers and then another game inside like that. And then I just put a, I, I sticker bombed it. Oh, you couldn't even see it. So it's like that in there. I sticker bombed it. I made a rail, which leave in the comments. I'm probably going to make a video on how to make one of these. I have a higher one in my room. And then I glued it on there. And then inside, I made a slot for my fingerboard to fit in. It's hard to do it one-handed because my fingerboard is thick. It's 36 millimeters. So it just fits in there. And then I made another slot for, like, my tools and extra trucks and bushings and washers and wheels and spacers. And, yeah. And then I just, like, taped it and glued it so it would hold it. And, yeah, I'm just going to get a few clips, and then I'll see you in the next one when I either do the rail or the fingerboard deck. So, yeah, see you then. <laughs>